Hi, I'm Adam Eisgreen, a game designer here at Westwood Studios, working on Command & Conquer Red Alert. I'm Rob Sandberg, I'm the MIS Director at Westwood Studios. Well, my name is Joe Bostic, I'm the lead coder for Red Alert and Command & Conquer. Roses and clover, and tell her that her lonesome nights are over, Sandman. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome to Westwood Studios here in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, my name is Lewis Castle. I'm the Vice President of Creative Development and a co-founder of the company. And I hope you enjoy what you see on the tape today. I think uh, we have some pretty interesting stuff to show. Nur fünf Meilen entfernt vom legendären Las Vegas Strip, wo Siegfried und Roy allabendlich ihr Publikum in Staunen versetzen, vollbringt ein anderes Duo Kunststücke der digitalen Art. Denn hier bei Westwood Studios entwickelten Lou Castle und Brad Sperry, unterstützt von 100 Zauberlehrlingen, den Superhit Command and Conquer. Die Individualität dieses Unternehmens zeigt sich besonders in den je nach persönlichem Geschmack eingerichteten Büros. Woran man wieder einmal erkennt, dass man über Geschmack nicht streiten kann. Hier demonstriert das Lands of Lore Team, warum manche Produkte trotz heftigster Bemühungen zu spät erscheinen. of the events of Lands of Lore 1, there are a number of characters that carry over, most notably the character you play this time is Luther, who is the son of Scotia, who was the evil sorceress in Lands of Lore 1. And the enigmatic Draracle, the large red leathery fellow with horns coming out of his head, the Draracle is uh, back, and actually that's really what the story is all about, is explaining who the heck is this big red guy with all the horns. We're not trying to do a, a movie that you're watching, we're trying to do that you're actually changing the game as you're going along. We have like effects like earthquake and storms and rain and all these different types of technological advances that we've tried to push, push, push to try and get out so that we can make the environment seem like you're really there and not just a pasty floating over here and not just something flat over here. Now it's actually a real 3D world. Monster AI. That is one of the, I think, the strongest points of our game. I think it's going to be the place where we are different from everyone else. Um, when you go after a monster in just about any other RPG out there, and you go firing at him with a ranged attack, he will keep coming at you while you're shooting at him, and then he'll die. Um, Lands of Lore 2, our monsters are going to think. When you fire at a monster that's down the hallway, that monster's going to retreat and take cover and wait for you to come to him. There's sort of that balance, that what the re what would happen in the real world. You know, 12 guys are going to come mobbing up you down the hallway while you're shooting at him with a super cannon. That's just not going to happen. So we've got an AI that I think is really well balanced and is going to show the intelligence of the creatures that you're dealing with. Westwood plant die Veröffentlichung von Lands of Lore 2, Guardians of Destiny, für Weihnachten dieses Jahres. O oder März nächsten Jahres. O oder Sommer. O oder sowas. I'm Rob Sandberg, I'm the MIS Director at Westwood Studios. This is our server rack. What you see here is about 500 gigabytes of magnetic assets. Over here is our uh, cable plant. This cable plant represents all of the workstations at Westwood Studios. Uh, our typical user has anywhere from you know, three to five computers. Voice, data, modem, uh, fax, ISDN, a myriad 
of application. I can show you that I actually have this hostage. This is the only physical specimen of Tiberium from Command and Conquer that anybody has. Okay, um, well, Command and Conquer Red Alert is a prequel to Command and Conquer. Um, it comes before the game that everyone is now familiar with, you know, throughout the world. It's basically um, a what-if scenario on World War II. We always like the idea of, of doing like a World War II type game, but we want to do it in our own kind of way because when you do, you know, a game that's specific to World War II, there are a lot of connotations for, you know, units and, oh, this aircraft only flies this fast and all kinds of specifics that everyone's very into. So we went. Uh, forget that. That's you know that's cheesy. We don't want to do that. We're going to do our own thing. The Allies are the real naval power in the game. They've got all of the big heavy naval units. The Soviets have uh, all of the air power. As you can see, this is our high-res version of CNC uh, Red Alert. This is basically running under Windows 95. Uh, our art's getting better and better. Our, our 3D artists is just it's incredible. Um, this is a gap generator. What a gap generator does is um, this grayed out area on your radar map, in a multiplayer game, the opponent cannot reveal that area. To, to your opponent, it just looks like this blackness. Any unit that drives in there, the shroud will instantly close up around um, what unit's being sent in there. The Tesla coil is really nasty because unlike the obelisk, um, the Tesla coil builds up a charge. And so if it, doesn't, if it doesn't use its charge and destroys the unit it's firing on, it will automatically go after another unit. Also, we also have mine layer units now. Um, you can build a mine layer, drive it out, and you'll start dropping mines. So your opponent, you know, your opponent won't see them. So unless he sees your little unit going around and he you know, figures to fire the ground there and blow the mines up, you can lay traps for your opponent. Here come some attack dogs, but I don't think they're going to make it. Oh, he got eaten by a dog! <laughs> oh, well, that'll happen. Ah! Well, unfortunately, we are still not shipping yet. <laughs> we know it crashes every so often. Der Name Westwood Studios kommt nicht von ungefähr. Der größte Greenscreen im Staat Nevada, unzählige Requisiten und modernstes Kameraequipment hält selbst im Vergleich mit Hollywood stand. Und falls Sie mal in Las Vegas Urlaub machen, schauen Sie doch bei Westwood vorbei. Besucher sind hier immer gern gesehen. We love to meet the people that play our games and we've never turned a visitor away. And gee, if somebody out there says I'd love to visit Westwood Studios when I visit uh, Las Vegas, uh, we're more than welcome to, uh, or you are more than welcome to visit and uh, certainly probably get you a t-shirt and uh, a tour, uh, get to see some cool art, maybe put you on the film here, maybe a celebratory piece of cheese. Uh, is one thing. <laughs> <laughs>